funny way to greet your cousin. You ain't my G-damn cousin, Trevor. I thought we was family. But please, just go and ruin somebody else's home furnishings. Who the F is that, Floyd? No one, my sweet. Hey, by any chance, did you catch crabs at that conference? Whoa. What? I heard that those conferences are regular little fuck fest, huh? Guy come in. I'd like you to leave mm. right now. Oh, yeah. Some serious corporate gangbanging going on, right? Yeah, with every executive and director of communications from here to Bangalore taking it left, right, and center in the name of team training, right? I mean, now that's what Floyd told me yesterday as he was staring at my, uh, my penis. I want you to Whoa. leave now! Look, this is all I've got, all right? I had a tough upbringing. My daddy was not nice to me, uh, okay? Okay. Now look, Deborah, I love you, and I love you too, Floyd. But Why can't we all just be together, huh? You can have Mondays through Thursdays. You can have the weekends, all right? I know that's not normal, but in this crazy, crazy world, is normal so good, huh? Look, Deborah, Floyd, will you marry me? What Get the hell? out of my condo! And you go too, Floyd. I told you, I've got a career. I don't need this. Yes! There. <laughs> you made me swear. You're crap, Floyd. Mm. Crap! <laughs> You're not a man at all. <laughs> Bob's right about you. Oh, who's Bob? I want both of you to go now. You and your weird friend. Whoa! Hey! My name is Trevor, sweetheart. I could give a fuck what your I'm not afraid to use this. I'm not. Whoa! Fuck Bob! You people are not very fucking nice. This is getting out of hand. This is getting out of hand. Wait, what the hell? Oh, hey there, Trevor. Dude, what the hell just happened? Hey there, Wade. Did you meet Deborah? Ooh, interesting lady. I should probably go say hi. I wouldn't. Why not? Let's go get in the car. All right. Please Let's do not mean that he killed both um, the Mr. Cousin and his. Oh my God. Oh, I know exactly where to take you. And then it better not be what I think it is. To the what? I could run in and get Floyd and Deborah. Oh, I know she Floyd. seems kind of uptight, but she can have fun. Mm, no, I don't think she can, Wade. Just Floyd then? Floyd's gonna meet us there. Floyd's trip? Exactly. Oh, Trevor, what have you got all over yourself? You're all red. You got, you got syrup? Yeah. <laughs> syrup. Accident. That ain't We've syrup, buddy. That's blood. We sure have, but... But it don't taste like Kira. Don't taste me, all right? Just no licking. Okay. Hey, you remember when we met? Sure. Last year. I was on the way to the gathering with Daisy Bell and Kush Chronic and... And you stopped in Sandy Shores to get lit and you met a dealer and he looked after you when your friends had abandoned you. That was weird, weren't it? The last time I saw him, it was with you driving out to the quarry, and then they just disappeared. Poof, right? I mean, they were gone. Some friends, right? And now Cousin Deborah don't want you around. I mean, there's a pattern here. The Congo did get messy. The pattern is you can't rely on anyone, anyone except me. Okay. Things just got out of hand. Anyway, let's just um. Here we are. What do you think? Safe cause by parking in the base at the so site. This is where Floyd is gonna meet us at strip club. Oh yeah. That guy like him. He's a real homebody. He loves that apartment. Interestingly, you and me, we got a new home. Where? <laughs> Here. Right here. Here? Mm. 
here. Now, I know uh -oh. it's unconventional, but that's the way we roll, homie. Hey, you, you two. You two, I want you to give this boy a good time for a long time. <laughs> hey, gorgeous, 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 gorgeous. Tell me where the manager is for this fine establishment. Through there and take two doors to the right. Mm -hmm. Through there. To the right. Thank you. Uh, <laughs> Amigo! Prepare to meet your new partner. Amigo? New partner? Meanwhile... Oh, Michael. Hey, Lester. Hey, uh, Trevor just called about the, um... The big one, the the UD. You know anything? Yeah. Oh, the UD um, heist. You down? Of course I'm down. Look, I'll get my research together and meet you at Trevor's. He's taking over the Vanilla Unicorn Gentlemen's Club. All right, message Franklin. Okay. Wait. Well, that was fast. Well, that was fast. So basically, the mission is 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 quite short. Where um, Trevor takes over the the strip club. Okay. Hey, before you ask, the fridge is broken. That's all right. I've had enough of your hospitality already. I have changed my ways. All right. Huh? Yeah, I'm done with that crazy shit, all right? I want to square things away with Merriweather, make sure the agency ain't coming back after us, and then do one last big score, and then you get to go back with your family. Me, I'm just going to live here. I'm going to run this this good business showing people a good time. Bust, Brad, out of prison, and then, you know, happy. <laughs> so how'd you come by this place anyway? Had it for ages. So you must know Leon. The old manager. Leon? I didn't know. Yeah, whatever, man. So what's going on here? What's going on? Oh, is here the we big have Lester. One. A long, long time ago, in a faraway place, there were three guys. Michael, Trevor, and Lester. And Brad. Uh, yeah. Sure, Brad was there sometimes as well. I mean, there were other guys, though, too. So, uh, anyway, we, uh, robbed. And lied and hurt people. Pretty much lived a low life kind of existence. But always dreaming of one thing and one thing only. The big one. The big one. The, the big, big one. one! What is the big one? <laughs> the union, the union the depository. Depository. Around 200 million in gold bricks, all taken from kindly Uncle Sam, who will spend the rest of our lives being hunted by government officials if we live through the attempt. But, but it'll be my, uh, our masterpiece. So, gentlemen, let's do our civic duty and get out there and find some gainful employment. This way. Let's go. Big one. Yep, he did. Old managers definitely did, all right. Well, Tre Trevor is one busy ass motherfucker, right. that's for sure. We're on a strict schedule, and there's a couple of armored cars on a dry run to the depository. Intel suggests they'll be going down Innocence Boulevard in East LS at approximately 15:30. Trevor and I need to map their route for a possible hijack point, so we're going to. Well, you don't see these driving? The bank, see if there's anything that stands out. Hey, we are uh, taking the temperature. Taking temperature. Yeah, you know, getting a feel for it. Security, exit rods, general vibe. All right. No way I'm switching to Trevor, man. Ain't no way. No way. No way. Unless I have to. That doesn't look like much. Man, security looks light. We send in a couple of sprung niggas, clap, clap. What are you talking about, Frank? Oh, I see it. Man, getting in the door is easy. It's a standard bank. It's getting underground as hard. Ain't that where the metal's kept? Right. Now we gotta stop outside the Arcadia Center down on Alta Street. We can get a view of the back from there. 
Right, so... Hey man, you might not notice it, but I picked up a few things rolling with you. I mean, there's times I think I gotta be the senior partner in the group. <laughs> from the way you and Trevor behave. Ah, sorry. There's history there. Yeah, it still ain't fully been explained to me, though. No? Well, remind me to go over with you again sometime. But not now. Alright. So we do it right over here. Look, dog, Light again, man. Yeah, fucking eerie, ain't it? Man, you think they put more than one motherfucker on our national fucking reserve? Yeah, huh? Maybe we really are broke. Trevor, how are you doing? What the hell? Well, uh, I like clockwork, Mikey. I like clockwork. What you the hell? You mentioned a job before. Something I help you with? I ain't even talked to Mike about it yet, but he's gonna be on board. He's obligated. What is it? Wait, ain't it job? obvious? Busting Brad out of the clink. How do you talk to Michael about it? Oh, fine. Shit. I was gonna pay you, man. When there ain't an obvious profit in something, you're a hard guy to motivate. Oh, if he finds out that Brad is actually dead. Oh, all hell's gonna break loose, buddy. All hell's gonna break loose. Just went 13.30. We got two hours before we need to be in Murrieta Heights. Oh, fuck, sticking. All right, gotta go, gotta... Fuck, sticking. Gotta... Gotta go, gotta go, gotta go. Gotta go. Hopefully no crazy-ass, um... Drivers. Oh, please do not tell me. Brilliant! More flying! You're the one who keeps talking about the schedule, Lest. Come on! Brilliant! More flying! Mike's observations fit with your scheme. So far, yeah. The security's internal rather than external. Quiet enough that any disturbance is going to get picked up immediately. What those two don't know is there's a special team of cops on standby 24 7 waiting on a signal from the UD. Won't go out on any other call. And it's never been hit. Man, those guys must get bored. They may be cops. Be careful not to get too close to the prison. We'll trip an alarm. Good point. Don't want them jumpy for the breakout. Ah, yeah. Tax dollars for doing nothing. Oh, yeah, that spying on innocent people. Hmm, getting paid to do nothing and spying on innocent people. Now, who does that remind me of? Anyway, if we want to hit the vault in a way that people will notice, the key will be to divert the security team. Divert it? You said they hold out for calls from the UD, and that's it. They do, so we'd have to hit it twice, once to distract them and once to get it done. You're gonna find hit someone willing twice? to get caught hitting a super bank just as a distraction. I was thinking, Michael, it might appeal to his ego. Oh, what am I saying? We got the perfect guy for it. Okay. I hope there's no landing I involved, man. I really do. Because these past few, uh, yeah. Missions, uh, there's a lot of flying involved. We have a visual on the convoy. Oh, Keep with them, team. Do whatever Les needs you to do. We're mapping the route and finding an ambush point. Stay with them. What kind of ambush spot are we looking for? I tend to wait in the jaw and catch them with their drawers down, but I guess that won't work here. No, it, uh... This is why I don't like flying, okay? Are you trying to tell me that I'm supposed to follow the convoy? <sighs> Let's just keep trying. Let's just keep trying. Come in, Michael! We have a visual on the convoy! Keep with them, T. Do whatever Les needs you to do. We need 
need to stay with them and find a place to ambush. What kind of ambush spot are we looking for? I tend to wait in the yeah, dark. Yeah, see the with their drawers down, but I guess that won't work here. No, it uh won't. We're looking for somewhere with cover for us and no escape routes for them. Oh, uh, I could just. Why do you even bother holding the R button? Yeah. Remember, I'm still piloting the the, the, the the helicopter while I need to view, okay? Okay. What about here for the job? Where? Under one of the bridges! It's en route and we'll have plenty of cover! It's too open! There's a number of get-outs and we'd be compromised if they were driven off the road into the river. We could recover the cars! With the right equipment, we'd haul them up the side! A central station is monitoring the car's position. If the GPS tracker reads it's down there in the channel, we'll have red flags all over the place. Fine! Okay, continue keeping an eye on the, uh, the front boy. What you thinking? I'm thinking I don't like being in close proximity to you for extended periods of time. And the same for short periods of time. Oh, there's ways to make minutes go by. Oh, I didn't mean to see. Get closer to... We need to be closer! Trying! The shit! Come in, Michael! We have a visual on the convoy! Keep with them, T. Do whatever Les needs you to do. We're mapping the route and finding an ambush point. Stay oh, with it's them! Like... This, gonna... this game's gonna make me flying even more right now. What kind of ambush spot are we looking for? I tend to wait in the jaw and catch them with their drawers down, but I guess that won't work here. No, it, uh, won't. We're looking for somewhere with cover for us and no escape routes for them. Ah, the same principle as a men's room. Yeah, uh, I guess. <laughs> go down, go down, go down. In front, you you stupid ass helicopter. Wait, inside? I've lost sight of them. Think they might be in the tunnel. Don't worry, it's a straight road. They'll come out the other side. Now, go around. Meet them at the other end. I was hoping they'd come through here. This tunnel would work for a switch. They go in, you come out. What is that tunnel?
Okay, I see, I see, I see them. There they are! Back out in the open! It'll need to be a quick turnaround, but you can take them in there. I'm picking up the cars, right on time. Hey, it, uh, it looks like we're gonna need some IDs to get in the building this way. I'm assuming that's doable, Les. IDs I can handle. Onion 86 inside. Oh, thank you. Hey, I was expecting you 30 seconds ago. Tell that to the traffic. <laughs> All right. Onion 86 in the building. Now, if I remember from planning the tool store job, they're excavating the new LS Metro tunnel around here. They take us around the building and find the construction site. Roger that. Looking for a big asshole. Search for the construction entrance. Where the hell is that? Oh, buddy, I do not like this. This one? I remind you, I suck at flying, okay? What the hell? Oh, I'm dead. I'm so dead. Search for construction? Where the hell is that? Okay, I see a construction building, but... Oh, now only uh, you get the media information. Now just hover here. It feels like they've been digging this tunnel forever. It looks good. We're lucky these projects take so long. No hints at supporting structures for the vault walls. A little longer. I think I've got everything I need to make some plans. Said to be asking. I'm out. So, uh, providing either of these ways into the bank works, the armored cars are the big hole in the ground. How are we gonna get the metal out? That's the 20% of $200 million question. If the armored cars are a viable option, we'll bring out the gold in them. Simple. You won't even have to fire a shot if everything goes to plan. When does everything go to plan? If it's ever going to, this is the time. Sounds hopeful to me. You got a backup plan? We can modify this chopper to carry the weight, but we need another one to match. Easy enough to get. If we're using it for the job, would you consider taking your name off the side? You think I'm taking down the Union Depository and anything other than a chopper with my name on it? Well, then you don't know me, bro. I thought you'd say that.
Dude, seriously, how does the grappling work? I don't freaking get it. Two huh. ideas. It's gonna take a while to get them together or work them up, but I think there's a way. It's not impossible. All right. We'll start thinking about the breakout too. Bradley Snyder. He's getting bored. Talk to Michael, okay? Goodbye. Now what? Okay. On to the next mission. Friend, I don't want anything, man. Come on, your company's good enough, huh? Same as always. Yeah, thanks. I really appreciate that. So, family ain't back yet, huh? <laughs> nope. Oh, she's a goddamn fool, man. Despite all the chaos of these last few weeks, I think I finally figured it out. I don't know. Mm -hmm. Sounds ridiculous. No, actually, it does not sound ridiculous, you know? Because you... You're a killer. You know? You are a man of action. You do not sit on couches. You take scores. You're back, man. We are back. All right? All we got to go do is bust out Brad, and then we're golden, man. Franklin, he makes us multicultural. Lester makes it cyber. We're like modern America. We just get ourselves a gay friend. Bam! At this point, he's going to find out that Brad is dead. I got money. It just makes you miserable. I want to make movies. Great. Great. And uh, so where oh, exactly does this leave me um, in the second act of your life? We're going to do this last big job. And then we're going to dissolve the partnership. This is not a game to me. All right? This is a fucking way of life. I got a fucking family. Yeah, well, I got nothing. No one gives a fuck about me. But that's your problem. I do. Oh, fuck you. I saw your grave. I mourned you. And then it turns out that everything I fucking thought about you was wrong. Everything. You're not dead, and you're not a man. Well, what the fuck are you? I'm your fucking nightmare. Yeah, enough with your goddamn threats. Let me just ask you something, all right? Something I've been I've been thinking about. Up in North Yankton, exactly who was buried in your place? Oh no! I never gave it any thought. You know what I'm thinking? I had no clue. You treacherous piece of shit! You're fucking dead. You're fucking dead! Trevor, hey, Key. Oh no. He better not go to the grave. Sandy shows F you. Fuck you. Hey, 
Come on, where are you going? You know where I'm going. Fuck you. You don't need to go all the way to North Yankton to find out what I can tell you over a couple beers back in my house. Come on, we'll order pizza. Fuck you. Fuck your pizza. Fuck everything it stands for. This is insanity. Oh, no. No, it's clear and reason thought. Finally. Oh, no. Come on. Come back. Seven we'll talk. I'm not going to listen to another one of your lies. Hey, I'll lay it all out for you, everything. Turn around. I'm going up there to see it for myself. You'll be disappointed. <laughs> oh, I'll be something. It'll be an anti-climax. The grave's empty. Just a bag of sand, something like that. Just smoke and mirrors. Ooh, alive! How do you do it, man? The game is up. I'm trying to save you a trip. You've done me enough favors for you, right? Save your fucking breath. Trevor, come on. Fuck you, Michael. Soon enough, I will. Oh, this is going to be ugly. This is going to be ugly. Trevor? It's great to, uh... There a plane I can use? Get me across country? Sure. Sure. We got one fueled up for a trip south of the border. I'm taking it. Is everything okay, man? Everything is not okay. Nothing has ever been okay, but I gotta see it for myself. I'm gonna see an old friend, all right? You're where I think you are, buddy. I don't know why I didn't see it. I guess, I guess I didn't want to. Fuck! Maybe I knew all along. I'm gonna find out for sure, and I'm gonna do something about it. There's always something wrong with that job. What went down after, I guess. I guess I wanted to believe. Fucking, fucking play circus! Idiot, idiot! Idiot! I'm sorry, Trevor. This is going to get ugly again for the way I see it. This is going to get ugly. But... Gotta make... Gotta progress. You know, I know it's going to get ugly from here on out. This game really makes you, whether you like it, you're not gonna need, you're, you really need to know how to fly, man. Oh. I really wish they do, they have, they do some improvement on the controls of how you, you pilot the, the, um, the plane though, hold on. Sorry. Once again, gain the plane. Flight no factor. How far is from uh, here to, to North Yankton? Are we going up or not? Oh. Just focus on the main objective. Whoa. Oh, freak, I'm feeling dizzy already. Shoot. What the hell?
quite far from here. I can foresee that this this uh, this location is quite far. Whoa! So I'm flying. I'm flying against the wind. I'm not joking. I I I'm flying like against the wind. Holy hell! And it's and the worst part is raining. Ludendorff North Yankton. Okay. Oh. At least I don't have to land. Oh boy. Trevor is really drinking graves. Who you got in here, huh? As if I need to ask. Brad's in there. But really, Brad is in that. Hey, you're wasting your time. Is that why you flew out here? Huh? Tell me I'm wasting my time? Go ahead, dig it up. I don't give a shit. Yeah, that's what you look like. The guy who doesn't give a shit. That's ridiculous. How long are you gonna keep lying for? Mikey, huh? When's it gonna stop? It happens in the dark. It comes out in the light. I'll oh, give it a rest, Trevor. There's nothing there. This is it. Moment of truth. I didn't know. Brad! Look, we do what we gotta do to survive. This thing, it didn't work out the way it was supposed to. Oh, how was that, huh? With Brad in the can and me in the ground, or, 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 or both of us in the coffin? Brad got shot. You saw it. He didn't make it. I got shot, I did. That's, that's it. I think the only thing... That didn't go as planned was me showing up on your doorstep ten years later. Mikey, I mourned you. And I missed you. But I got a fucking family, Trevor. We were all gonna die. He did die. You reptilian motherfucker! I didn't oh want to gosh, come to this. this. Yes, you did! You just don't have the fucking balls to do it! But I do! I got more to lose than you. Never a truer word. Has been spoken, has brother. Me, that's why. Now pull the fucking trigger. You ain't got the guts. Take the fucking shot. Who is that? Fuck you! Fuck! Fuck! John Phillips, Mr. Charles requested a word. Hey, ho ho! I'm not the guy you're looking for. Hey, how's it been? How's it been? Get the boyfriend. Boyfriend? Boyfriend? Motherfucker. Oh, well that's something you I never I didn't Where learn yet. Steady. No. 
in the car. So, who are your pals, Trevor? Get out of the vent! Find it! You see it? I ain't got anything against you people. Put down the weapon. Me and Trevor, we ain't... Friends no more. You started this. One more guy. Ah, you want a boyfriend, huh? More of you? Really? Ah, you don't want. Ah! Shit! I shouldn't have hit up front. I was slow. My bad. My bad. My bad. Nice and slow. Nice and slow. What the hell? Shatter! I mean cover, sorry. And I'm only a one man army, what the hell? Give him up. Now you die. Oh, hey, you got the wrong guy. We could have teamed up. Fuck off. One at the back. He's getting away. Hey, can't we do this where the weather's better? Hey, guys! You ever heard of overkill? You should have gone after the other guy. Reloading. This one over here? You're making a mistake! Guys, look! Wait. You're out of your element! Nice and slow, nice and slow. Oh, hey, back off! There's one right at the back of this cover. Ah, shit. Okay. Oops. What's that with? Yeah, should have taken nice and slow. Oh, freak! Shelter. Wait. Me and 
Just get in the car. Just get in the car. Fuck off, you confused pieces of shit! Well, now Trevor. Fuck! Oh, shoot. You got nowhere to go, boyfriend. All right, all right. Get out the fucking car. Queen Michael's being captured. Fly back to the Sandy Shores at you, got it. But wow, look at the view though. You see this? Trevor Phillips Industries. Mr. Phillips, this is Wei Chang. You know my eldest son Tao. Yeah, the ex nut. Back down to a contract we agreed on. How is he? Still learning the ropes, thank you. My friends miss you in North Yankton. I was hoping we could talk. Ha! <laughs> was that your people? Ah, oh, of course. Sorry I had to cut out. Your operation causes problem for me. I want to expand into Blaine County. But your business and your temperament prevent me from making inroads. Oh, huh, well, too bad. I don't know what you can do about that. I've already done something. We have your lover. Whoa, 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 whoa. My lover? My Cody Santa. You live in your trailer together with the maid. And then you were alone in that big house. Well, you're clearly very close. You know, how much will you give up for his safety. <laughs> My lover! Yeah, right! It's a tough break. I never want to double-cross a friend and put him in danger, but you gotta do what you gotta do. My business ain't going anywhere. I'm serious about this. He will die. Tell him I love him dearly. Oh, what the hell, Trevor? What the hell, man? This ain't right. The mall? Okay. Looks like we gotta give for from the mall. Whoa! whoa, whoa. How do you like open the, the, the wheels? Like seriously. Hold on, let me try to figure out what 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 are the the button for the wheels. Trevor Phillips Industries. Mr. Phillips! This is Wei Chang. You know my eldest son Tao. Oh yeah, massive E head. Backed out a contract we agreed on. How is he? Still learning the ropes, thank you. We've been watching you, Phillips. Your operations causes problems with our plans for expansion. And since you're not a viable business partner... Oh, viable? What the fuck is that? We have your lover, Phillips. From the trailer. My lover? Yes, Michael DeSanta. 
You live with him with your maid. He's in our custody now. Give yourself up, and he will live. <laughs> okay. All right, yeah, yeah. No, of course, man. That's a, that's a tough break. Uh, look, you guys deserve each other. Hold on to that fat traitor, and feel free to torture him to your heart's content. You'll save me the trouble. Let me show you how to lower the the. the Like, dude, which button? Wait, one button. Dude, which button is it to? Finally done. <sighs> that was awful. I ain't gonna fly a plane again, like ever. I mean, how do you even open the 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 we? I mean, what are the buttons to like open the, the to? What do I? Please, no more flying. Okay, like Susie. No more flying game. Look to me the, the 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 controls of the the controls of the flying absolutely sucks. The control of the flying is is absolutely sucks. Lamar Davis, what's up? I'm part of the team. That's what's up. Team? I don't do teams. Uh, Devin Weston's car still in team? The one Frank's running. Oh, oh yeah, that one. Hey, look, I boosted the ride. I'm about to meet your boy Franklin, and I need your ass to pick up the Packer, meet us outside the garage, and we taking these motherfuckers up to Polito Bay. All right, buddy. Fine. That's a long trip. Meanwhile, please tell me we're controlling Franklin. Hey, like, please. Driving a car is way, way better than piloting a freaking plane. I feel so, I feel so much better driving a car. We supposed to be I'm, oh I'm supposed to drive okay 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 got it got it he over at the usual place now take the car to the garage the boost home how did it go any problem you know me fool yeah I do know you fool so what you think smooth as silk I'm thinking where the blood stains and the bullet holes and shit man fuck that amateur shit behind me, I'm a professional now, like you and them old dudes. So tell me what happened. I saw the ride, I took the ride. No drama, no security. No one saying, who the fuck is this gangly motherfucker doing in my car? <laughs> Nothing. 
That's worrying, man. That's some shady ass shit. Man, shit. I guess up Lama does does not get into any any sort of trouble. And just take it nice and slow and just um, head over to the next stop, alright? Be careful, line it up on the truck. Oh, line it up on the truck, okay. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Happy, then we'll get moving. And this old bust ass nigga ain't no ball. Enough, nigga. Get your ass in the truck. Let's <laughs> go. Sonora Freeway, past Paletto Bay. Alright, let's head to the drop off point. That's it slow. Hey, it's uh cozy in here. Scooch up, homie. Yeah. Over here. Nice and Scooch slow. That crazy dude? Oh hell no! I don't want any snake. monkey Get over business. Here. I don't Captain bite. Captain Love, you trust me? Hey, what this. I heard? All cannibalistic and shit. Frank, what you been telling him? I say what I see, homie. You dig on man me? Ah, uh, rumor and hearsay. We got a long way to go. I'd get comfortable. All right, nigga, but don't try nothing. How far is it? And this thing? Yeah, about four hours. What? Shit! It's your operation, slick. Shit, if you all right driving, I'm gonna catch up on some sleep. Go for it. It's all right being the boss. Meant to be running things, but this fool sleep. Yeah, I'll be asleep when your ass stop talking, nigga. Some boss. Dude, really? Hey man, where that other dude? The dude that creeped on that dude. Michael, this creeping days are done. Well, what you mean? He stopped creeping? No more creeping for him. He like, retired? From, from creeping. <laughs> from everything. That's funny, cause like the boy Frank didn't mention shit about that. And as a matter of fact, I don't even know the dude. But considering the mutual acquaintances we got, I would have liked an invite to the retirement party. There weren't no party. No party? I use the term retirement euphemistically. Homie, for a dude that kills dudes and eats dudes and fuck dudes, you talk fruit. It's unconfirmed. What's unconfirmed? The fact that you talk stupid or the fact that you do some messed up shit? <laughs> or where the other dudes at? Like, maybe he's dead. The last one. Oh, shit, man. Fuck. Do Frank know about this? I don't know if Franklin knows, but let's just let him sleep. Shit. Yeah, it's a bummer. But, you know, he wasn't a good guy he made out. That dude was a killer, a thief, a liar, and irritable as shit. Yeah, a liar. Above all else, a fucking liar. Homie, you sound like some bitch he ain't called. Like, oh, he lied to me. I am some bitch he didn't call for ten years. Fuck, man, he fucked you. The fucker got fucked. Damn, he fucked the fucker himself. Shut up. Man, the first time's always special. I hope he was gentle with you. Enough of that. And enough about me fucking. I don't do that. As a rule, maybe when I got to LS, I was I was a little overwhelmed by the place. I got a little out of control. But that ain't who I am, for the most part. But the Michael fucked you. Yeah, the Michael fucked me. And the Michael fucked Brad. And the Michael ran off with the FIV. Brad? Who, who the fuck is Brad? Brad is our boy back from the day. And Michael killed him? Michael got him killed. He died when Michael faked his death. I thought Michael died and Brad was in the pen, when actually Brad was in the ground and Michael was in hiding. And now Michael's dead and it's all okay? Michael's current condition is unconfirmed. I said that. But if he was dead, you'd be cool because of this Brad dude who died whenever. <sighs> yes. Man, I thought you and Michael were tight. So did I. Okay, that makes a lot of fucking sense. Man, he's tough, uh, buddy. It's a lonely old road, ain't it? Lonely? Hey, I couldn't say. I mean, not really. A road's a road. It ain't got abandonment issues. Truckers on the blacktop making do? I don't need to make do. I need to make snaps on these rocks. For sure. Yeah, the time will come. It's what happens before we get paid is what? Franklin's asleep. It's just me and you. What? What you trying to say? You want me to jack you off or something? He says no. God no. Of course not. Unless. Man, you's a sick fiend. Just fiending for some friendship. Friendship? Right, whatever, man. It's just truckers are a symbol in this country. 
You know, part of it's mythology, like cowboys, gangsters, hobos, gangbangers. Truckers are about the unsexiest myth I ever heard, apart from hobos. Uh, maybe tired with hobos. Freedom. Loners in the night. You know what truckers do? Cut up women and get other dudes to jack them off. Come to think about it, aside from not lugging freight around the country, you got about all the necessary prerequisites for a fine career in hauling. No shame in that. If you don't want to get paid or enjoy human contact. Money's bullshit. So is friendship. All right, all right, all right. I see you still touching. Huh. How's Franklin doing over there? Oh, uh, dude getting paid to sleep. Don't even worry about him. Ah, uh, sleep of innocence. So he, like, in charge on this one? You work for him? He's a kind of figurehead. A puppet, if you like. With Devin Weston's hand up his ass. Right up to the elbow. That dude, real shame. Ooh, it's repulsive. But, well, once he's paid us, he can be whatever we want him to be. What you want him to be? I want him to be someone who understands that all the money in the world can't save him from a nasty guy who thinks he's an asshole. Now that's something I want to see. So, uh, tell me, man, how y'all end up meeting? Michael introduced us. Me and Frank didn't exactly travel in similar circles. Nah, I mean the creeper. Michael? Ha! <laughs> yeah, I don't know. Yeah, you know. Sorry, I don't want to reminisce. Your wounds ain't healed. You such a delicate little no, be attention. Where your pussy at? What you got in there? Screw you! <laughs> That's good. Let it out, homie. Go on, let it out. Then. The turd was probably playing me from the start. Right, yeah. Probably. How you doing? Where? When? All right. All right. Fuck. I was running a small air freight outfit. In All North right. Yankton. More backstory telling Tiny time. operation. It's one beagle I could borrow when I needed it. We were kids. Kids with planes. So, this guy I know says there's this other guy needs some hot cargo moving across the border. Money's good. And I don't know enough to check references, so I'm in. A few days later, I'm waiting on the runway, and I see this dust coming up off the road. Only, it ain't one dust trail, it's two. I got told one guy in cargo. First car comes through the gate, stops, someone comes out. It's my age, just 20, kind of fat but strong underneath. Love at first sight. Yeah, something like that. Other car comes through the gate. Old guy falls out, starts yelling, waving his arms and pointing at the kid. The dude that got Jack? Who fucking knows? Fat guy's running, old guy's shouting. I don't really care. I play peacemaker. Concerned citizen. I get close to the old guy and I pull out this flare gun I'm carrying around, squeeze the thing off in his eye. Shit. That was horrible. We had to pick up the body and dump it in a lake on the way. Thing was still burning in his head when we dropped him. The plane never smelt the same. Both of us threw up when we landed. It was quite a baptism. Oh shit, what's that? Wake up, you dozy motherfucker. One time was on a ride. This is what happens when you fall asleep on the job. What you gonna do? Okay, shit, I got an idea. Keep driving. I'm gonna take the tricked out JB700 and get rid of the tail. Man, Molly said there'd be some hardware on board. Shit, we'll see. We have reason to believe you were transporting stolen vehicles. Pull over to the side of the road. Hey, take this headset. Mm -hmm. Okay. Keep the truck safe before finding it. You must have waited till we were trying to tell you. No, I'm going to know it. Nice and slow, nice and slow, Franklin, nice and slow. So what's next? Man, let me see if I can split them up. Those vehicles are stolen. Hey, you won't get these cops off us as well. I thought you said the coast was 
clear when you boosted it, Lamar. It was. They sneaky motherfuckers. <laughs> Spikes. Crying. They got the job done. Molly? Hello. Hi. It's Frank. Franklin Clinton. Mr. Clinton, sure. For the record, this falls under attorney client privilege. We got that shipment, you know? Cops was all over it, but we lost. Where exactly you at? Procopio truck stop. Get here soon. The lawyer ticks up at the Procopio truck stop. Pull out the truck to the drop off point, got it. Man, I don't mind doing any on any of this um any of these uh what do you call it missions. As long as there's no plane involved. This kind of mission is for we driving cars, we go we go get crazy on shit on land, it's completely fine by me. Hey, I'ma speak to the legal counsel woman. Get us paid. Yeah, I heard about that CEO pay shit. Just make sure it's fair salary for the workforce, motherfucker. Yeah, I, I, what he said. You taking care of. Head back to town. Alright. Now let's meet up with Molly. Alright, see you. Hello there. Hello, Franklin. Yeah, where Devin at? Somewhere meditating or ripping somebody off? In light of the drama your efforts caused, we felt it was not perhaps the best idea for you two to be seen together for a while. Where's the money? Mr. Weston is one of the most brilliant investors the world has ever known. He's obviously a maverick, but he's also rigorous in his research. Yeah, he may be brilliant. Look, let me be the first to tell you. He ain't gonna fall in love with your ass. Now where the fuck is my money? Yeah, that's the best a thing, thing that could have happened to you in the situation has happened. He is going to hold your money, invest it in his alpha fund, and make the funds available to you at a time as the transfer will not induce any undue attention. What? Which is a polite way of saying I'm getting robbed? Are you fucking kidding me? That is a short-sighted and frankly immature way of seeing things, Mr. Clinton. Let's go. I boost cars and pop motherfuckers. Maturity is not really my fucking thing. Dude got screwed up big time, like what the hell? <sighs> Let's check out the next experiments. Okay, shredder, but not as whatever. Let's let's move on to the next mission. Buddy, that's messed up. Franklin! What's happening, Lester? Hey, look, you seen Michael? Man, the contact he set me up with is holding out on the payment, dawg. Huh. Um, let's see. His phone is offline. His credit cards aren't active. This is aberrant behavior. Hmm, last usage is for a flight to North Yankton. There, there was a signal from his cell back in Los Santos, but now nothing. Damn. Is he in the city, dawg? Shit, he could be in trouble, huh? I don't know, but it's worth speaking to Trevor. Most likely he was with him in the Midwest. I'll get him to come see you. Shit, all right, homie. Look, send him to my aunt's crib, all right? We are women. We are free. We're bringing an end to the patriarchy. We are women. Here are free. We are women. Here are shop. We are women. Who goes jogging in the middle of the ring? Shut the fuck up. Thank you. Oh, my N-word, huh? <laughs> What's up, homie, huh? 
Well, that was oh. dumb. What a, is that how you act, huh? When a, when a friend makes a mistake, huh? No, really. Well, a good fan oh, 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 is so always a positive thing. Me getting fan. hurt, is that funny? No, huh? man. Well, fuck you! I'm gonna put you in the fucking ground, you laugh at me again. Well, calm down. I have met a lot of assholes in my life, but you? Oh, you're not long for this world if this is the way you fucking act. You little jumped up, motherfucker! What the hell, man? Look, how about this, man? Calm down. It was funny at first, man. I made a mistake. Unfortunately, man, you failed. It was fun, all right? I apologize. Frankly, in good with his words. I accept your apology. Okay? All right, so... Let's hug it out. Mm-hmm. Nah! What the hell? Right? You're so fucking funny, gotcha! Yeah. Oh, fuck, no, I'm not funny! Fucking asshole! Oh, fuck! I, I had a difficult childhood. Damn, man, you alright? I'm just fucking on edge, you know? Look, I love you, right? But I would have. I would have. Fucking! Look, man. Lester said you had some information for us about Michael. Michael? Fuck Michael! I hope he's dead. Man, I know y'all two, man. Come on, man. You two had beef before. But what the fuck happened in North Yankton? Somebody pinched him, man. Who? Friend Ron met these Chinese assholes. They're from Yangshan in China. We had some problems. They mistakenly thought Michael was a human being and kidnapped. Yeah, and now it looks like they're holding him somewhere in the city. Yes. Come on, bro. Well, go fuck yourself. You want that piece of shit? That's your fucking business, all right? He's dead to me, all right? And chances are, if and when I see him, he's gonna be dead to everyone else as well. Hey, come on, bro. Don't do that. You're pushing your luck, pal. Oh, what the heck? What was that? What? What was that? What the hell? Everybody! Assholes! Dude really has issues, man. What the hell? Hey, it's me. What did Trevor say? Man, Michael's being held by a Chinese crew. Because of Trevor. The irony isn't lost. I'm sending you an app for your phone. But Michael's cell just came back online. This will track its signal. It'll work better the closer you get. Be careful. Sure. Oh, shoot. I told you. He ain't my g -Lab. Don't try to persuade me, you're not lovers. He's laughing at you, you fucking idiot. Oh, no. You're making a mistake. Mike. It costs a lot of money to track you down. I had to every favor yeah. I could in the Midwest. And then you kill several good yeah. men. Good day, huh? Good day. Good fucking day to you. Dude, Michael was trying to protect yeah, himself again. Okay. Oh, Hey, oh, hey, shit. You idiot! I'll help you get Phillips! Ugh. Where's the... Okay. Come on. Boy, I have to look on the road and then. What the hell is wrong with that stupid, crazy ass driver? Come on, man, I got a guy in that needs, that needs saving before he's, he's dead. Yes. 
my car, asshole. Whoa, whoa. Over here? Hey, he's in there somewhere. How you get in? There has to be a way to get inside there, right? Over here. There has to be a way. Let's hit him there. Ah! Where are you gonna go now? Kiss it off! You got an old white dude that don't belong to you! Oh shit, oh shit. Michael, you in here, man? In case you ain't figured out, I ain't paying no risk. Michael! Oh, I'm low on HP. Franklin's a chat man, I'm not gonna say this. Ooh, that is disgusting! Oh shoot! You want to get out of here? Hey, look, there's a way out. 
Alright, let's go, let's go, let's go. Let's get the hell out of here. Come on, come on, let's go. This is my rescue mission, dog. We're going. I just want to get home. I'm going to get you here. Come on, let's go. Oh, shit, man, they coming out. I'll try and lose them. Just let me get my head right. And Frank is the one by me. Stupid ass private. Gotta keep running, gotta keep running. Go 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 Talk to friendly lady. I'm so off the in, unfortunately. What the hell? Oh my goodness. So this... This is a nightmare. What the hell? What the hell? Don't let me die, please don't let me die. Please do not let me die. Please do not let me die. Car's in bad shape though. Car's in a pretty bad shape. What the hell? Almost there, almost there, almost there. Oh thank goodness. Move your Forget me. <sighs> Alright then, I'll see ya. Shut up. Thank goodness. Hey, okay. sure you don't want to come in? What, your big empty ass house? Dog, I'm depressed enough already. Alright, well listen, thanks. Look man, before you go, what the fuck happened up there? I said, Trevor went crazy, tried to kill me, I got jumped by the Chinese. Man, before all that, I'm talking about the fade. Trevor, this guy Brad, man. I know what you meant. I made a judgment Man. call. Man, Michael, you bad when shit. I did what I thought I had to do. I had a young family, Franklin. I was running with a crew of crazy motherfuckers with nothing to lose. I saw it out. A future for me, for my family. I took it. You took it? Man, you burned every motherfucker you've ever known. It was that or die. <sighs> Look, I know it sounds cold. I don't expect you to understand it. Not yet, but you will. When you got ties of your own. Look, you wake up one day, and, and your legs, they just give. You just can't run anymore. All right, man, look. You watch your back, all right? When Trevor finds out you're still alive, I don't know what the fuck he gonna do. Don't worry about Trevor. He's not gonna get near me. Hey, you watch your back. You hear me? Dog, it ain't me he coming for. We straight, it's you, dog. 
It's you. Just say. <sighs> Oof. I gotta say, the story has been has been interesting so far, at the very least. Switch limiter. Not bad. Not bad. <laughs> now then. What's going on? Oh, just enjoying a little labor dispute. See, we're about to do something really, really bad. So okay. I need to present myself as a proper textile magnet. So, so you stop making anything? Nothing looks more suspicious in America than someone who's actually prepared to make something. <laughs> Jeez. What about you? Oh, pocket, Trevor. We're having some problems. Brad. Yeah, what else? Yes, anyway, the Union Depository is on hold for now. Can't do it without him, especially now that he knows. Thank oh. God you guys are here. You alone? Davey, where's your boyfriend, Steve? What the hell? He's on his way up. Yeah, they're up here. Listen, this shit's about to hit the fan. Our entire lives together has been nothing but a series of fans and shits. Sort this problem out for me, and I will get Mr. Leisure Wear off your back. And if we don't? Then I will go to jail and you will get shot. Ah, fuck you, Dave. Oh, I've heard it all before. Not like this, you haven't. Has he briefed you? Oh, well, yes, he has. He told us that if we do what you say, then together we can take down the big bad wolf that is government <laughs> corruption. Yeah, and if you don't, we're all gonna fry. Because the agency's onto us. I've even got some fools in our own bureau that are questioning my methods. <laughs> Think I'm a liar, <laughs> a cheater, some kind of a killer and a thief. So? So, there's some uh, evidence. And I need you guys to find out what they know. All right, so what? You want Lester here to hack into the system, wipe it all clean? No, 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 that will not work. The only way to access it is through your buildings. Fuck me. <laughs> Michael. Wait. You'd be doing me a very big favor. And if you do this, I will make sure that all your files are deleted. I promise you. Hey, it better be. It's the last thing we do, and we're done. Period. Of course. I'm a man of my word. Dave, let's go. Come on, Lester, let's go. Good luck, gentlemen. All right, let's do this. Take us to the bureau, parking garage entrance. Got it. Well, so you got any idea how we'll do this? Scope it out? Uh, not really, but I thought we'd start by finding a way into the building. We're going in through the parking lot? No, 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 no. We're waiting for someone to come out of it. A janitor. All right. And how's that going to get us in? Well, the janitors are all on temp contracts. They get replaced when their backs go, or they ask for a day off. So, we find one of these guys, we turn him, and that's our end. Okay. They're a particular guy? I'm in the temp company's database right now. We found a guy about to clock off. I've got the file here. Let me see. Harvey Molina, license plate 83QSL722. And we'll follow him and see what we think. Sounds good. Oh. Fine by me. Here we are. It's, uh, Let's Michael wait Wright. for him. And the wing is Michael Wright. No paints involved. Here we go. Uh, not our guy. So what do you think about this whole messed up situation? I think they'll either kill you after this is done, or keep you doing these stupid jobs until they don't have to kill you because someone else has done it for them. Yeah, that sounds about right. Let's keep reading. Something's coming. That's not it. So what do we do? Oh, what can we do? We do the job. And maybe you can delete the files when you're inside doing whatever else you're doing. That might be a way out. 
Yeah, well, a way out is exactly what I need. Keep waiting. Oh! Ooh, what's this? Is that the... This is not the car we're looking for. Nope. It's hard to get motivated on a job without financial incentive. You can't put a price on freedom. Well, that spur won't be there for the crew. Now, I'm gonna ask Mr. Haynes for a budget. Maybe the leftover cash from the Polito score. We need something. Yeah, see what you can do. There she is. You know the drill. Couple of car lengths. What's gonna happen when this guy gets wherever he's going? He's gonna get his severance package. Huh, I can't tell if that's some creepy euphemism or a plain statement of facts. It's whatever you want it to be. <laughs> okay. Let's take it nice and slow, nice and slow. Hey, you mind? Put away the smartphone or pad or whatever the hell that is for a minute. No surfing while I'm trying to tail this guy. It's work related. Yeah, well, I'd prefer all hands on deck right now, if it's okay with you. God, you're worse than my son. <laughs> you wanna break into the FIB's West Coast headquarters, you're gonna need more than a janitor's license plate number. And let me work on some angles while you uh, keep this car behind that one and between these white lines. That's it. I mean, other than a few missing expletives in terms of racial abuse, that was my son in spades. Well... I mean, my could just spoke with Agent issues, Haynes. But... We've got the budget to pull this off. Good. enough to smell his aftershave. Yeah, this is how I run these gigs. Now, now look what you've done! Oops. Oh, was too fast. I was too fast. What's gonna happen when this guy gets wherever he's going? He's gonna get his severance package. Huh, I can't tell if that's some creepy euphemism or a plain statement of facts. It's whatever you want it to be. <laughs> okay. Hey, you mind? Put away the smartphone or pad or whatever the hell that is for a minute. No surfing while I'm trying to tail this guy. It's work related. Yeah, well, I'd prefer all hands on deck right now, if it's okay with you. God, you're worse than my son. You wanna break into the FIB's West Coast headquarters, you're gonna need more than a janitor's license plate number. And let me work on some angles while you uh, keep this car behind that one and between these white lines. That's it. I mean, other than a few missing expletives in terms of racial abuse, that was my son in spades. Okay, I'll, I'll, I'll drive I just spoke with Agent Haynes. We've got the budget to pull this off. Good. Come on, what do we do when he gets home? What do we need from him? We need cooperation, and maybe his overalls, and an ID. And if he don't cooperate? You know what it's like to clean up shit for Steve Haynes? He'll cooperate. Hey. Let's just keep driving. I sense the wall up there. Nice and slow, nice and slow, nice and slow though.
I'm not gonna ram his ass, don't worry. He's pulling up. Park down the block. Okay. So what next? Time to make Harvey an offer. Feel him out. Hey, Marilyn. How's that cable connection coming along? Fine, fine. Sorry, look, um, I'm busy. Only when she needs something. Kill him? You going up? Okay. Another one of those, Harvey? Who are you? The guy with your best interests at heart. Fill your pockets with money, and all you gotta do is take a little vacation. Hey, I work two jobs, man. Take any break I can get. Good. Hey, you want the beer? Nah, I'll just take the overalls. Oh, and your ID. It's in there. Oh, and Harvey. I probably don't need to say this, but you don't play ball, I'll be forced to do something I really don't want to do. Enjoy your beer. All right, let's get back into the car. Left side, left side. Successful? Oh, yeah. We gotta go back to my office. Then back to your office, we shall go. That was easy. Guess you were right. Steve Haynes is a shitty boss. Hey, I called Frank while you were in there. He's coming to meet us. Yeah, huh? What do we need him for? Grunt work. Information gathering. What information? The plans to the office. There aren't any digital copies, or if there are, I'm not clever enough to find them. The architect is L.S. based, so I thought Frank could tail him and take a hard copy. Sounds complicated. You sure you need these plans? Yeah, I do. If I'm gonna find a way to bypass a couple of hundred million dollars worth of government security. Millions? They blew that much? Government contracts. License to steal. Wow. We are in the wrong business. No, we've just taken the wrong contracts. Okay. That's just you. He's already here. Into the office. Yeah. Hey, what's the problem, dog? Steve fucking Haynes. Of course it's Steve fucking Haynes. It's always Steve Haynes. That is not strictly true. It's either Steve Haynes or it's Trevor or it's his family. It's always one of them. Yeah, that's true. It is always one of them. Well, that old fucking oh, boy. family and even worse friends. I told you, Franklin, I ain't a good role model. Yeah, whatever, dawg. It's either this or Dylan dime bags. The bullets come cracking at your ass either way. Yeah, thanks. We need to find out something about this FIB building, a weakness or a way in. Mm -hmm. Next time I meet a morally destitute, totally delusional, highly corrupt government agent. I hope he's a nice one. Man, I'm not going in that motherfucker by myself. No, 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 no. Nobody is going in. We need to do some recon. We need a little more information. She. I need the architectural plans. They're not online anyway. I'm gonna need paper copies. Now, the architect's name is Chip Peterson. This was his first big commission, and the office is down in Backlot City. All right. All right. Franklin, you go tell him for a little while, and then we'll talk. All right, dog, I got you. 
Try not to hurt yourself. Oh, good, good, good. Right, next part of the... Yeah. I messed up that one, that one part. spite you okay I just I get so mad and I can't control things and then you know shit just falls on top of me my life sucks right now and I don't know what to do except I want to say I love you and hug it out but all that wimpy shit is just well I'd say gay but I have some friends who are gay so that's not cool anymore and the ones that I don't really like it's not because they're gay so lame all right you are just a lame and angry psycho sometimes you do bad shit and things I don't know if I love you, and I'm pretty sure I hate you a little bit, but I'm just so fucking upset that we can't even see each other, and you're just a drunk, lame dad. Well, at least son's being what? honest. That might just be the nicest thing anybody's ever said to me. So will you buy me a car? What? I mean, not in the so will you buy me a car kind of way, in a completely off-topic can you buy me a car. I mean, firstly, I'm a, a fat shit that you ruined. And, and secondly, I will get a job, and I will stop smoking pot in that sort of way, okay? I love you too, son. Now, go. Get a job, because I don't have the money to buy you a car. Besides which way, I'm probably going to be dead in a couple weeks anyway. Please don't die, okay? Great catching up with you too, Dad. Yeah. Hey, uh, how's your mother? Oh, well, she's great. No, she's not. She's bored. I mean, all this mesmerizing, tantric sex she's been having with a much younger, better built, caring and compassionate man is great and all. But what's she gonna do for the other six hours of the day? What the fuck? I I'm oh, just winding shit. up, you miserable bastard. She's mad at you. She's scared that you're gonna die, and she wants you to go over there and prove that you give a fuck. All right, all right, all right. I can take a fucking hit. Let's go. We'll get Tracy on the way. Tracy, on the other hand, she's a star. Sort of. <sighs> Mom right. said she was at Bean Machine. Let's um, resolve this family issue here before we continue on with the. So, what's been happening? You know, I don't know stuff. No, I don't know. Well, what's been happening with you? Uh, thanks. It's been. It's. It's anyone's guess. Yeah. Yeah, I get it. You were out of the city. Sure, you guys were gone, so I thought I'd, you know... Let's maybe not pretend it was anything to do with us. Those beast Hispanic dudes with automatic weapons and blacked out windows. There they are, outside. Come on, let's say hi. Guess we better walk up to them. Caffeine, come on. Your curling has been sluggish for weeks. A little bit less lifestyle guru and a little bit more boy toy uh, excuse me i'm trying to write a screen shush here. woman hey amanda baby in. michael hi mom hi jimmy this is true a picture of holistic well-being i don't think hey maybe they shit once a year between them hey, oh that's my son amanda come i have a new unit card on hold you must pay for it hey hey what? buddy i'm gonna ask politely that you show my wife a little respect Red meat has been blocking your chi as well as your digestive tract. 
I ain't even gonna go there. I'm gonna ask you one time, nicely. Michael, just hit him, please. Shush, woman! Anything for you, sweetheart. What? what are you uh, uh, I had some really good work there, you dick! There's a lot more where that came from, Holmes. Uh, is he alive? <laughs> yeah, he's fine. Listen, Amanda. I wanted... I'm meaning to say to you, but I just... What he's trying to say, Mom, is that he's a pathetic old drunken mess and he needs you and you could do a lot better than a prima donna yoga instructor with an anal fixation Someone oh, shut up. okay i guess we could try all i'm asking for is a shot neutral ground dr friedlander's office it's perfect all of us i'll pick up tracy and bring her there meet you fine all right you Come on, get up, you idiot. Oh. Yoga? No, no yoga. <sighs> All right, you know where your sister is, right? Yeah. Let's go. Wait, 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 but what about that sugar, caffeine, and emulsified pig fat flavored beverage I want? What the hell? Another time. Oh. Come on, I want one too. Later. I think Tracy's over at the tattoo parlor. Add two parlor? What the hell? What? Tracy's getting another tattoo. No, oh god no. That Laszlo guy's there. Laszlo? That asshole? What's he want? It's Tracy that wants something. She wants to get back on fame or shame after you and Uncle T cut her cameo short. Well, maybe we ought to help her out with that. Maybe we ought to. Hey, let me ask you. Back there with your mom. That went okay, didn't it? Anything that ends with Fabian's burst eardrum is more than okay with me. Yeah, I mean with me and your mom. I think it's an important first step in, like, the direction of okay, if you know what I mean. Yeah, yeah, I know what you mean. Alright, well, let's just move on to the... What the hell? I think they're in here. Tickets to the Bender's game today, so I'm all good. Looking forward to it. You're right. This weekend. So we for something hip that you know says I'm capable of violence, but I'm awesome in the sack. So listen, babe, if you want to make it in Vinewood, you gotta do whatever it takes, even if whatever it takes is a depressed borderline oh alcoholic who Lord. hosts the third most popular talent show amongst the 40-year-old female demographic. So. You'll let me on the show if I blow you? Yes, and if you could wear some black lipstick, the little guy loves the goth vibe. Oh. Buddy, oh, what the me. hell? <laughs> Dude, that was entirely out of context, bro. Jim, you find the Inkslinger, sit on him. Laszlo here's gonna have a little cosmetic work done. No, please. Whoa, 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 whoa. stay put, you lame-ass Mark. Uh, sure, kid. What? Oh. <laughs> I'm bi-coastal. I can't have metal on my fucking face. <laughs> Uh, Noah's... Ah, you made me a pouty fucking hipster! Ah! Oof. Just... Ow! Oh, are you popping a fucking tent over here, you fucking psycho! Oh, yeah. yeah. Ah! Ow! Oh, ho, oh, oh, that looks pretty. Here, let's get rid of this. Ah! Oh, my God! Ah. Papa Bear! What's Daddy Number Two gonna... Think about this! Uh, let's not get him involved. Uh, let's do... Uh, um, just, just to be clear, I'm not paying for this, right? <gasps> now hold it. Up. Uh, right. Uh, this is gonna make my man tits look enormous. Should I draw his three pubic hairs? Uh, uh, there we go. Oh! Uh, Nice. Oh, you got like Bloody. a camera phone or a mirror? I guess. Oh yeah, I'll get you a mirror. Smash oh. you over the head with it. Oh, 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 ah. 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 Snip, snip. Oh, this is a real one-stop shop. Look, we can work this out. Like men, you know, if you catch my drift. Oh. Oh, no, Zero that's hesitation. My signature, my ponytail. Now I gotta get extensions. No, what you gotta get 
is my daughter, whatever she wants. Yeah, without sucking on your piddle stick. Look, okay, guys, that was a joke. I'm a clown. I'm a sad, lonely little clown. Hey, you're gonna put her on your show, and you're gonna make sure she looks good. Look, okay, I got a lot of juice in this town, but I mean, I'm not a miracle. Just do it. <laughs> yeah. All right. All right, Trace, let's go. We gotta get to the therapist. What? So. I like call you or something, okay? Bye. Never a family that needs therapy. My ponies. How do I look? It's not good, is it? Who knew you could use a tattoo gun? It's one of those skills you pick up in prison. You know, inking your name on your celly's ass. Ew. Are you serious? Come on. No. Not fight. Now let's head over to Free Bender's uh, office. I'm pretty Not sure he's clinical, but your therapist hasn't exactly been transformational to your mental health. So I don't know why he'd be better positioned to help for dysfunctionals. Hey, this was your mother's idea. Well, I guess it beats yoga. Huh? Now he beats yoga. <laughs> Literally. Like Fabian? Around the head with a laptop? Oh yeah, like pow! Our old man released the dude's inner tranquility all over the bean machine bad. To be honest, and I know it's karmically bad, but yeah, I fucking hate that dude. Yeah, I know, right? So up his own ass. You're a fucking contortionist. Whoopee. I contort my junk all day long and I don't act all superior about it. Just a little ashamed and empty inside. Overshare. Hey, guy was talking smack to your mother. Well, I applaud you, Pop. Here, here. You're like finally like using your powers of selfishness and rage for like good. Not an objective universal good, but like a subjective what's in our best interest kind of good. Fuck yeah. Awesome. Let's rob somebody. <laughs> Do it, Dad. Yeah. Do it! Do, Do it. it! Enough! Okay? I love that we're getting along, but you fucking freak. I love that we're getting along, but knock it off. Yeah, don't like actually rob a liquor store. That might like kill the mood. Fucking therapy. Let's do that shit. Hey, how about you just let your mom and me talk, okay? We got some issues we gotta iron out. And seeing as you two aren't into it, you can just sit there and be quiet. That's cool with me. I got all the prescriptions I need, at, at least for the meantime. Thank you. Wait, over here? Amanda! Hello! Good to see you again, Michael. I'm so glad. Isn't this great? Fantastic. Michael, be positive. I am being positive. <clears throat> this is me being positive. Give it up, Michael. The sarcasm. It's one of the reasons I moved out. It's beneath you. No, it's not, Amanda. Trust me. Nothing's beneath me. No, normally there's a whore beneath you. You know, for someone who spends every waking moment working on themselves inside and out, I gotta tell you, the progress has been really fucking slow. How would you know what progress is like, you stupid murdering shit? Uh, oh. gee, because all you do is whine at me. Oh, all I do is whine. Michael, could you please stop murdering people? Michael, could you please stop endangering me and the both of your children? You oh, kill this is people gonna, uh, and then you sit in the sun and drink and feel guilty about it. That is not work. I don't see you complaining on the way to the fucking bank. I mean, let's face it, Amanda. We're trailer trash, you and me. We were taught to do this. Get a center, Michael. You have no center. How about you suck my cock? 
Huh? No way. We'll both get a center before that ever happens. You are such a fucking oh, animal. What the under hell range, did I just animal. You're fucking ain't right under range. How could I not be? I should have had you locked up years ago, you stupid Do it. shit. Do it. I'll put you in the fucking ground with the rest of them. And that's really all the time we have. Oh. Great. I think we made some real progress there. Oh, uh, Michael, <laughs> I hope this goes without saying, but family work is a little more expensive. What, double? Squared. <laughs> Ooh, of course. Take care now. Hey, so you gonna come home with me or what? Guess we'll give it a try. All right. Are you gonna take us home then? Right. Back to Michael's home. You know, there was a moment there. I thought. What? I don't know, like maybe we still had a ways to go. You know, like maybe we need more time. Time for what? Time to move beyond screaming at each other. That was cathartic. Catharsis all over my face. Ooh, I got a warm, fuzzy feeling. Probably just the meds you raided. Okay. Cathartic. All right. I just don't want it to be more of the same. Now you're the one making the demands? No, 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 not demands. I, I, I'm saying you're right. Something was broke, and we got to work at fixing it. We do. All of us. Yes, Mom. For real, peeps. Because I started to understand something in there. No one else gets this family. Not Dr. Friedlander, or my yoga teacher, or our tennis coach, or the juice guy, or the dog walker. Oh, or, hey, hey. Oh. Or Jimmy's third grade teacher. Or the trash guy. Or dad's proctologist. Or the guy that thinks he's Jesus on Vespucci Beach. Or the hippie bum who thinks the world is ending. We're stuck with each other. I mean, how do you explain faking our deaths, changing our names, all the lying to the FIB? That monster, Trevor. There's no explaining, Uncle T. Hey, is he coming to the next therapy session? What? No. No. Jeez. Just one thing, Michael. Don't get us killed. And don't get killed. Can you do that? I'll give it my best shot. With every fiber of my being, I will do whatever it takes to make sure it doesn't happen. Promise. And no more hookers or other women. Yeah, Dad. Gross. You're better than that, Pop. Uh, guys, I'm not really comfortable having this conversation. Just keep it in your pants, okay? <laughs> yeah, it's so demeaning how you treat women. All right. Guess no woman for all Michael then. Well, let's just sit back, Bob. Let's just sit back for me, Michael. So Here we are, old sweet home. Remember this place? So. Kids, rooms. If you find dead bodies, cheap women, or Trevor Phillips, we're checking into the Rockford Hills Hotel. Um, oh, we done. Mission time, I took long. I took quite some time. But never mind. Hey, Mike, it's Franklin, man. I'm following the architect. Alright, don't fuck it up. Alright. Alright, let's do this. Chill the architect. Hey, stupid! You can't be on here without a hat! Yeah, thanks a lot. Sorry, buddy. Site inspection. Architect on site. All right, let's follow the architect, but not um nice and slow, nice and slow. Anything we need to be worried. 
worried about? The only thing we're worried about is you changing the plans again. There's always scope for improvement. Always is. Those idiots drilled the new caissons on the west side. You're kidding me. The bedrock ends there. We need caissons on the east side. Ah, uh, no drama. It's a government contract. We'll be paid until completion. I ain't taking a fall for this screw up. It's a government contract. No one's taking a fall. Except the government. Guess I'll use the other elevator then. Him and study him hard. I was gonna wipe my ass on him. That's the engineer's plan. Mine you treat like a religious text, remember? Yeah, that's it. Okay, let's just keep following the architect in the meantime. Maybe I should just never mind. Wait. Right, gotta run. to the garment factory okay Hello. let's find a I'm so ready for the week I'm selling dream houses to billionaires and celebrities please do not tell me I do, there's no transport had a pretty shitty weekend actually Better than nothing, I suppose. Upstairs, upstairs, upstairs. Ah, it's Craig. Hey, you got him? Of course I do, homie. Here. Thank you. So, all good? Sure, homie. So is this shit for real? We just gonna rob the FIB and be allowed to walk by your boys like that? Yeah, I don't fucking know. Probably not. Uh, Lester, what do you got? Uh, I don't quite know yet. Give me a minute. I'm not a fucking computer. <laughs> oh. Oh. Oh, maybe I am. <laughs> what? Here's what I think. We have two options. The new security software goes into containment mode in case of emergency, you know, uh, 
earthquakes, mudslides, acts of God. So we could plant some fire bombs. They go bang, the emergency call goes out. We hijack it, show up as firemen, and then we grab the containment drive. Or we could hack the system on site. We'll go in by, uh, by air. Oh, no, 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 no. I ain't gonna go. Resistance. I ain't gonna go by air. No, 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 no. government psychos are. Defeating one of the world's most complex security systems using our worthless ass ninja skills, huh? Yeah. Any, many, money, mo. If you favor the firebomb containment drive option, you'll go in with that janitor's ID you picked up. Mm -hmm. It'll be at night when most of the workers are off. You mop the place and plant the bombs where we need them. Seriously? I got a mop? Yeah, yeah, you really do. They'll clock you on the cameras if you're play acting. You also need a fire truck to show up in when the bombs go off, and a getaway car stashed in a quiet place near the bureau so you can torch the truck and get out. The car doesn't have to be anything special. There shouldn't be any heat. Well, what about the other way, with the uh, ninja skills? Now you choose that route, you won't be using the janitor's gear, but we had to cover all the bases. Your FIB paymasters will have to provide you with a chopper and a pilot. No, 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 I, I ain't flying, man. No, 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 I ain't flying, no, no, I'm not gonna do any flying. Mopping or parachuting? Wow, you're making this choice really I'm going with mopping, okay? Shut up. Now, Haynes has given us the leftover money from the Polito job to pull this mission, and the crew will be paid out of that. We keep the change. So, what's it gonna be? Eh. <laughs> so you do want to mop, okay? Well, you'll need a couple of gunmen. They'll go in with you as firemen. Everything goes to plan. They won't fire a single bullet, but you will be running into a burning high-rise with them, so consider that. McReary? He was part of a well-known Liberty City stick-up crew. Small world. Why, right, let's grab, um... I got a good feeling about him. In then, Gustavo. Ah, my lucky charm from the jewelry store. Okay. That all look good to you? You are robbing the FIB here. Confirm. And we have a winner. I'll make the arrangements and call you when we're ready. All right, see you here. You know, um, I'm still looking into that Union Depository gig. Okay. It's real interesting. But I don't know if we can do it without you know who. Uh, oh. Uh, as long as he can't do it without us. Okay. Which means for the Union, the, for the UD gag, we need Trevor is a must have. We get it, we. Shit here. Hello, this is nine one one. What emergency service do you require? Quite. Thank you. The fire department are en route to your location. Now we wait. I see you. Oh, buddy, what the hell? Keep your ass down. Hey, move! Okay, wrong way. 
I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. And I need to Oh, brilliant, I've been spotted again. I could just fuck where I got me for a The scratches damage. No mind. He's the new hit. So we're doing the next mission already. Hey Lester man, the fire trucks around the back of your factory. Good, good. Well that's everything. I just need to show Michael something, and then this job is a go. How you doing? Ah, pretty good, under the circumstances. About to knock off a federal government building. Uh, meanwhile, my psychotic former BFF is trying to figure out a way to kill me. But hey, the meds are kicking in. So life's good. Well, exactly. Franklin got us what we need. Put those on. Then what? Then head in there and uh, rig up a slightly more sophisticated fire trap than we've got here. So. I'm guessing drapes and send a candle aren't gonna do the trick, huh? No, 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 no. We will have incendiaries and a remote device. Now, they need to be strategically placed so we can ensure that we still have access to the server and that the structure maintains its integrity. Mm -hmm. Now, once you get out, trigger the bombs, meet up with Franklin and the crew, and we'll intercept the emergency call, and you all go in as firemen. Oh, got it? Yeah, I got it. Sounds a little idiotic. Well, under the circumstances, it was the best I could do. And if you remember, you were the one who chose to do it like this. Oh, come on. But, you know, Trevor has a point about you. Yeah. You whine too much. Yeah, fuck you. Oh, don't even <laughs> try it. Don't worry. <laughs> All right, let's head over to the FIB building. Mike, 
bike. Hey, I'm on my way to the bureau. Link up with Packy and Gus, get the fire truck, and be ready for my call. All right. Them dudes is pros, so this should go kind of smooth, right? Enter the FIB building and go to the turnstile. FIB building. Oh, if you're new, just clear your pass with security and you can go up. Yeah, they keep changing the contractors. Yeah, because guys like me keep losing their jobs and agreeing to do this for less. All right, head up. Alright, next step, head to the elevator. And I did press the, the sprint button, but uh, Michael is walking. Pick up the mob at the maintenance. Room. And then go to the office floor. Mop the floor. Drop the bucket. Things right over here. Dirty mop. Okay. Clean the mop. And then left click. Back off a bit. And plant the bomb in the locker. There you go. Next, pick up the bucket. Head further in. Go to the next room. Which is right over here. Oh, there are four, four deaths. Right click. Get the bucket. I won't be surprised that um uh, getting a goal requires me to like properly wipe the Hold on. 
Oh, I'm supposed to... Wait, in the toilet or what? Oh, in the toilet, okay. You know you stay too late when the mopping dead show up. All right, all right, I'm... Gotta pay attention. Now then, pick up the bucket. Where to next? Oh, back to the closet. Got it. Take the mop back and the bucket back to the closet. Okay. Cool. Well, I don't mind doing this compared to the the flying, which is a hell no for me. I'm not gonna do any flying because you already seen it. My flying sucks. No, not my flying sucks. The control of the flying sucks. Ooh. Leave the building. They don't work so hard. Building's closing any second. Okay. Now to bring my ass right over here. Hey, charge is set. I'm out of the building. Hey, dog, we right around the corner. We got your gear in here with us. Sits in motion, people. We ready to build. Y'all ready for this? I'm ready for anything. Oh, over here, over here. Let's get together later. All right, trigger the fire bombs, Frank. I'll get my turnout gear on. Okay. Where is the? Only two bombs, right? Whatever. And up she goes. Let's get there. So, left to hijack the emergency signal, right? Yep. We'll be the only idiots running into that burning mess. So, don't worry. Hold up there by the curb. In the building, come on! I'm pretty sure we're not allowed to use the fight, the elevator being fine, right? Alright, Lester says these elevators should still be fine. Was he on that industrial strip painkillers or that hallucinatory weed at the time? Yeah, probably a little bit of both. Cool, dog. Thanks for clearing that shit up. All right, we're going across to the far stairwell and up to the top floor. We got to go across. Take the stairs to the top floor. Stairs are here. We take them up to 53. 53 then. Okay, let's go, let's go. Keep going! Almost at the top! 50. 50. 51. 51. 52. 53! Containment drives up here! 
Demon Drive. Just follow these guys, just follow these guys. Michael out of here. It's collapsing! On me! We gotta move! You see that? Gotta go fast, gotta go fast, gotta go fast. Back to floor 47. Up the, the okay, climb on. Let's come with this damn thing. Come on, man. Can you go down? Should be an elevator shaft through here. Might be able to repel down it. There's the elevator. All right, this is our way out. We gotta get these doors open. Watch out. Hey, give me a hand. This is fun. Going down. Incoming debris. Whoa. Keep going. Be cool. Be careful. Shoot, shoot, Woo -hoo -hoo -hoo. In. This is crazy. Come on, man. Gotta go. That was crazy. Hey, let's get the fuck out this field, right? Before it comes down on our head. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's get the hell out of here. Come on, come on. Hey, get in the truck. 
Leave the building and get to the fire truck. Got it, got it, got it. Into the fire truck. I repeat, into the fire truck. Get away location, got it. All right, we're going. All right, we all gotta change before we get there. At some point soon, an APB will go out looking for firemen. We cannot be playing dress up when that happens. We need to get to the ride and torch this fire truck as soon as possible. I'm working on it. Yeah, because if they connect the dots, man. I don't know. Man, I'm working on it. Any minute, they'll be looking for us. I mean, those guys in the building you took down. If they knew, who else is gonna know? It ain't worth thinking about, dawg. Trust me. I'm gonna get us there as fast as I can. All right. Shit. Shit. I just don't want to run into something. Man, y'all don't want to run into Trevor, bro. That's who you don't want to run into. Haha, <laughs> you're right. So, uh, take us to our get-out, avoiding the cops, the feds, and my dear friend Trevor Phillips. All right, man, I'll try. Try real hard, okay? I can probably tell you people I didn't think we were gonna make it out of there but you planned the thing right yeah I chose the best of two impossible options we had to sell them that we were firemen to start with that's a pretty crazy task and that's just to get the opportunity to have a high-rise fall down on us yeah well thank you kindly for being so upfront with us on how dangerous this motherfucker was we made it didn't we whole crew's intact we're charmed boys we're charmed, or we're really good at this shit. <laughs> you're all professionals, know what I'm saying? Scores are easy when you ain't got to depend on no wannabes. Charmed? Yeah, that's about right. Michael DeSanta, Franklin Clinton, Gustavo Moda, and Patrick McReary. When people are talking about the time guys went into the bureau and wiped their files, man, those will be the names, the rumors. This one will go down in the ages. Yeah, man, I'm just glad this shit is over. I don't want to do nothing else for them fools no more. Nor do I, bro. I gotta swing that. Hey, you gotta swing something with Trevor, too. You should reach out, homie. I'll think about it. I'm kind of enjoying my break from him. Don't think about it too long. He might decide to act. That's all I'm saying, man. Whew. Okay. Oh. Any mission that doesn't involve planes, I'm cool. Okay, I'm cool. I'm gonna. I ain't gonna lie to you. That 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 mission was fun. That mission was fun. All right, let's get back to Lester's. Go up here. Hey, Lester place up here. Alright, Lester's home. Um, okay. Alright. I'm out of here. <laughs> well. What? What? I never thought I'd see you clowns again. What? We did it! <laughs> oh, we did it okay. Right. We did it. How was it? For a suicidally dangerous mission impersonating emergency services while working a high security government facility, it was surprisingly uplifting. <laughs> Come here. Give me oh. some of that. Hey. Ow, 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 ow. Oh. Sorry, I forgot. You forgot my very, very obvious illness? <laughs> it happens. Uh, whatever. Hey, let's get drunk. Franklin, fill up the glasses. I've got some real, 
vintage moonshine, hillbilly type shit. We're gonna be seeing triple and committing incest in minutes. Well, <laughs> shit to make a man forget his trouble. Oh, exactly. I am just gonna get drunk as a skunk, and then I'm gonna reverse engineer a webcam and spy on those sorority girls again. <laughs> I'm oh. ill, okay? Give me a break! Cheers! <laughs> <laughs> Some shit. <laughs> <laughs> All right, boys, I hate to break up the ritual, but I gotta go square things up with Davy and Dick uh, For serious? Hey, I just want them to know that now that we did this thing for them, and we have the evidence that we did this thing for them, that we can all go our own separate ways, you know? Well, fuck it. You want me to go with you, dog? No, stay. Have fun. I gotta do this alone. Right now. The sooner the better. It's one way to look at it, eh? Right. <laughs> Besides, I want to put this shit to bed. Then I can figure out Trevor. Get my life back. Go back to being bored and miserable and loving every motherfucking minute of it. Here, enjoy the incest juice. <laughs> <laughs> Man, you boys sure know how to put the fun back in midlife crisis. All right, the heist is over. You missed a spot. Wait, what? Oh, there's a time limit. It's okay. I had fun. This heist has been fun. I will say this. I will say that this heist has been fun. As long as it does not, does not involve planes, I'm cool.